of something that God spoke to me about. When I stand behind this pulpit, I don't want to exaggerate. I don't want to say God said and it didn't happen. I don't get up here and prophet lie to anybody. But I was preparing. Now hear me. I was preparing for New Year's. And as I was preparing for New Year's night, that entire day I spent praying and seeking God for the New Year's service that we were going to have. And a spirit of prophecy came over me. Now, I don't ever claim to be a prophet. Uh, I believe in prophecy, but there's a lot of people that sometimes it's easy to say, thus saith the Lord, and God wasn't even in it. But let me tell you what God showed me quickly. And that is this. As I was praying, the spirit of prophecy came on me, and I began to prophesy to myself. And the Lord said to me, and I, 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 and I was going to give it that word on New Year's Eve that God spoke to me because he had spoke to me that afternoon. And he said this to me. He said, there is going to be, this is what he told me, there will be an assassination. Now, this is New Year's Eve before the service and I've been preparing this entire time and God said there's going to be an assassination on a leader a world leader and I'm thinking now that's that's pretty rough to get up and tell the church that that there's going to be an assassination on a world leader and everybody's going to be looking for it if it doesn't happen, they're going to mark you as a false prophet. Are you with me? Wave your hand if you're with me. And the Lord said, after the assassination, now my mind went immediately to our government and to the leadership of our government is what I was thinking. But the Lord said, after that assassination happened, things would begin to happen, and this is the word, peril, perilous time. He said, that would begin perilous times in the world. Little did I know within 24 hours that there would be an assassination that would happen in the Middle East. And then God said, perilous times would soon be on the heels of the assassination. This is what he told me. He said, but tell the people that not a hair on their head shall be harmed. This is, this is what God told me. He said, tell the people not a hair on their head will be harmed if they learn to praise me. I wish somebody would help me right there. If they would learn to praise me in perilous times. Now, I don't know about you, but I believe that when God gave me that word, something began to happen in the spirit realm. And I know that they're making a lot of threats right now. I know that people are talking about wars and rumors of war. Everybody look at this. Way. Look at me. And that's what the Bible says. We're nearing the end of this time. And it's not a, it's not a coincidence, hear me, that we're coming into a new decade and a new year that there's been an assassination on the general on the general of Iran and now they're making all their threats but perilous times will come but learn to praise God through the perilous times now there is there is there is let me just give this to you and I must hurry there is worship where you go deep and heavy and you get into the throne room. But then there's also praise. And David said, I will go to Without Walls International Church. 
But when I go, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving. And, and I will enter his courts with praise. So will you take, let's go ahead and put this into motion right now. And let's give God the biggest shout of praise. Now listen to me. If you can learn to do that in church, like you're doing right now, when you go through perilous times and trouble comes knocking at your door, you remember the word that your bishop gave to you, that God gave to me on New Year's Eve as we are getting ready to go into a new decade. Yes, perilous times may come, but praise God through the perilous times. And you don't, hey, and you don't need a Hammond B3, and you don't need Dr. Payne, you don't need a lot of music. You can praise God no matter where you are, what you're doing. You can be at Publix and all of a sudden the Holy Ghost come upon you. And you just begin to say, thank you, Jesus. And if you don't have anything to praise God for, praise God that God's blessing me. Slap your neighbor a high five and say, I'm going to learn to praise God through all my circumstances. Now, when I said that, listen to me, some of you are going to say, yeah, it's easy for him to say that now after it's happened. But I was already prepared. I had both barrels loaded to give you that work. And I could hardly wait to get you here today because I see it happening right before our eyes. It's happening right now. But I believe it's all leading up to the greatest revival in the history of church. Down, it's coming our way. It's coming our way. I'm telling you, revival is on the way. And I'm not talking about crowds or attendance, but I'm talking about a mighty move of the Holy Ghost that's going to sweep colleges. It's going to sweep campuses. It's going to enter into the public school system. Because I believe a revival is here when the clock struck midnight. God said, it's my turn now. The devil showed off enough. And it's time we put him in his place and begin to praise him.